Well, this week seems to have really flown by. I can't believe it's Friday already, but uh, welcome uh, to my garden as we prepare for the weekend for this time of prayer. And a verse from 1 John. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Dearly beloved, the scripture moveth us in sundry places to acknowledge and confess our manifold sins and wickedness, and that we should not dissemble nor cloak them before the face of Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, but confess them with an humble, lowly, penitent and obedient heart, to the end that we may obtain forgiveness of the same by his infinite goodness and mercy. And although we ought at all times humbly to acknowledge our sins before God, yet ought we most chiefly so to do when we assemble and meet together to render thanks for the great benefits that we have received at his hands, to set forth his most worthy praise, to hear his most holy word, and to ask those things which are requisite and necessary as well for the body as the soul. Wherefore I pray and beseech you, as many as are here present, to accompany me with a pure heart and humble voice unto the throne of the heavenly grace, saying after me. And let's just take a moment to uh, come before the throne of grace, where our Father sits in glory, and the Lord Jesus, the Lamb who was slain, at his right hand. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done and we have done those things which we ought not to have done, and there is no health in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us, miserable offenders. Spare thou them, O God, which confess their faults. Restore thou them that are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who desireth not the death of a sinner, but rather that he may turn from his wickedness and live, and hath given power and commandment to his ministers, to declare and pronounce to his people, being penitent, the absolution and remission of their sins. He pardoneth and absolveth all them that truly repent and unfeignedly believe his holy gospel. Wherefore let us beseech him to grant us true repentance and his Holy Spirit, that those things may please him which we do at this present, and that the rest of our life hereafter may be pure and holy, so that at the last we may come to his eternal joy, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, 
and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. And we read Psalm 82. God presides in the great assembly. He renders judgment among the gods. How long will you defend the unjust and show partiality to the wicked? Defend the weak and the fatherless. Uphold the cause of the poor and the oppressed. Rescue the weak and the needy. Deliver them from the hand of the wicked. The gods know nothing. They understand nothing. They walk about in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are shaken. I said, You are gods, you are all sons of the Most High, but you will die like mere mortals. You will fall like every other ruler. Rise up, O God, judge the earth, for all the nations are your inheritance. And continuing to read from Acts chapter 8, verse 9. Now for some time a man named Simon had practiced sorcery in the city and amazed all the people of Samaria. He boasted that he was someone great, and all the people, both high and low, gave him their attention and exclaimed, This man is rightly called the great power of God. They followed him because he had amazed them for a long time with his sorcery. But when they believed Philip as he proclaimed the good news of the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus Christ, they were baptised, both men and women. Simon himself believed and was baptised, and he followed Philip everywhere, astonished by the great signs and miracles he saw. When the apostles in Jerusalem heard that Samaria had accepted the word of God, they sent Peter and John to Samaria. When they arrived, they prayed for the new believers that, there might be, that they might receive the Holy Spirit, because the Holy Spirit had not yet come on any of them. They had simply been baptised in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then Peter and John placed their hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. When Simon saw that the Spirit was given at the laying on of the apostles' hands, he offered them money and said, Give me also this ability, so that everyone on whom I lay my hands may receive the Holy Spirit. Peter answered, May your money perish with you, because you thought you could buy the gift of God with money. You have no part or share in this ministry, because your heart is not right before God. Repent of this wickedness, and pray to the Lord in the hope that he may give you a forgive you for having such a thought in your heart, for I see that you are full of bitterness and captive to sin. Then Simon answered, Pray to the Lord for me, so that nothing you have said may happen to me. After they had further proclaimed the word of the Lord, and testified about Jerusalem, Peter and John returned to Jerusalem preaching the gospel in many Samaritan villages. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the way your word was accepted uh, in Samaria, a place that for so long had been hostile to the Jews, was hostile even to Jesus, and yet so many accepted your word. And uh, we see in the example of uh, Simon, uh, the danger of setting yourself up um, as, as, as gods, as the psalm refers to, uh, those who set themselves up and their rule up in their own name and their own mighty power. And Lord, uh, in that psalm we recognise that uh, uh, everyone, whatever position, whatever authority, whatever claims they make for themselves, um, we all perish the same and there is only one true God. And we do pray for uh, religious leaders, uh, for leaders of churches, um, especially we pray where uh, they are gifted and are put on a pedestal uh, by others, that you will protect them from, uh, from simony, uh, that desire to make money 
from their gifts that you have given them. And Lord, we pray for the integrity of the word of God wherever it is proclaimed. For Jesus' sake. Amen. And today as school uh, finishes for the summer uh, here in Rothley, we do pray especially for the Year 6 children who will be leaving and starting next term at secondary school. Uh, Lord, things haven't finished as we would normally have done and we haven't had the opportunities with them to speak about moving on and uh, putting their trust in you through this period of transition. Uh, we pray that you will be with them, that things will end well and that the uh, foundations of the faith which have been laid through the school and its teaching over the past six or seven years they've been there um, they will carry with them through the holiday and into their life in their new schools and pray that indeed many uh, may grow up to accept you as their Lord and Saviour for Jesus sake Amen and Lord, we continue to pray for the leaders of our city and county, um, the decisions they make, uh, the comments they make. Um, we pray for great wisdom and that they may work together for the common good uh, during this difficult time for Leicester and Leicestershire. Um, we thank you that you have given us uh, leaders. Uh, we don't simply have anarchy. And we thank you for the good order of society. In Jesus' name. Amen. And as we approach another Sunday, so we very much pray for church services, especially that one here in Rothley. And we pray for David Wilson as he prepares uh, to preach your word. We thank you uh, for the reach of our church services at this time. And far beyond uh, those that will normally just turn up to church. I ask that you will bless your word and give it the power of your spirit through this media uh, to reach into people's lives, people's homes, uh, bring comfort where comfort is needed and bring challenge where challenge is needed. For Jesus' sake. Amen. And we continue to pray especially for those who have been living alone during this time. Um, we thank you for those that have uh, knocked on their doors, those that have phoned them up or been in touch with them in whatever ways. We pray that uh, none may feel alone, but rather that in their hearts they may be open to your presence living with them in their homes. And we ask this day that you would uh, lift their hearts, lift their eyes, and comfort and encourage them for Jesus' sake. Amen. We pray for ourselves this day, that we may walk faithfully with the Lord Jesus, however weary or frustrated we may feel with the current circumstances, or whatever opportunities there are that lie ahead, may we walk faithfully and trustingly to your glory. Amen. And the collect for this week. O Lord, we beseech thee mercifully to hear us, and grant that we, to whom thou hast given an hearty desire to pray, may by thy mighty aid be defended and comforted in all dangers and adversities, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time, with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and has promised that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfil now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit Ghost be with us all evermore. 
Amen.